Hi everyone, today I am here to present on estimation of cost of cultivation and cost of production of perennial crops or horticultural crops. So, let us first move on to cost of cultivation. Cost of cultivation is something that a cost of various inputs and input service used for raising a particular crop. It also includes the cost of processes from uh, land preparation to threshing cleaning and taking the product from field to home. Cost of cultivation always refers to unit area. Total cost of cultivation can be found out in, a, in such a way that the sum total of fixed cost and uh, variable cost. Next is about perennial crops. Calculating cost of cultivation of perennial crops can be, uh, uh, can be done in such a manner by con uh, considering certain elements like establishment cost, maintenance cost and return. Next is about cost of production. Cost of production is something that refers to the cost of involved in the production of one unit of output and is normally associated with fixed and variable cost. Here, cost of cultivation of mango is given and tabulated in such a manner uh, on the basis of its density of plantation. So, for normal density, medium density and high density plantation, certain amount of total cost of cultivation is being calculated. Here, for normal density, number of plants is given as 40 and total uh, cost about 1600. Input cost 5000. Labor cost 4800. Uh, the irrigation system used here is drip irrigation, and for that it is given as 25,000. Irrigation infrastructure for uh, 15,000. Farm equipment 10,000. Storeroom 10,000. And the total cost is being calculated as 1,6400. Uh, 6, Next is about medium, uh, medium density plantation. For medium density plantation, 63 plants. Total cost is uh, 2520, input cost 7000, labor cost 9600, drip irrigation 25000, irrigation infrastructure 15000, farm, e farm equipment 10000, labor uh, or storeroom cost 10000, and total cost is given as 1 lakh, uh, 1 lakh 41000, 1 lakh 14000. 120 next for high density plantation number of plant is 640 for total cost uh, 25600 input cost 12000 and labor cost 14400 drip irrigation cost of 25000 infrastructure cost of 15000 and farm equipment cost of 5000 labor cost of 10,000 and total cost of 1,42,000. So, cost of cultivation of mango based on density can be calculated and the total cost of cultivation is found out by normal density is equals rupees 10,000, 1,6400, medium density 1,14,120, high density 1,42,000. Next is about cost of production per year. The cost of production per tons of mango in different years is being calculated from 6 to 10 years, 11 to 20 years and above 21 years. And the mean average is being calculated as 4,187.78 4, per ton. Next, uh, next is certain MCQs that we found from our topic. So let us move on to the MCQs. First, Cost of cultivation can be found out by FC plus VC, FC minus VC, FC into VC, FC by VC. The answer is FC plus VC. So, cost of cultivation is the sum total of fixed cost and variable cost. Next is, which refers to the cost involved in the production of one unit of output? Option A, cost of production. Option B, cost of cultivation. Option C, both. Option, option D, none. And, and the answer is cost of production. So let's move on to the next question. Estimation of cost of cultivation include how many components? Option A, 4. Option, option B, 3. Option B, 5. 
and option D 1. The answer is 3. There are three main components for estimation of cultivation, estimation of cost of cultivation. Next question, maintenance costs are usually viewed under fixed cost, variable cost, total cost or all and the answer is fixed cost. Next is expenditure on setting up of irrigation infrastructure comes under establishment cost, returns, fixed cost, none and it comes under establishment cost. Next expenditure on intercultural operation comes under establishment cost, maintenance cost, return, none and it comes under maintenance cost. Next is any cost incurred by an individual to keep their asset in good working condition is known as maintenance cost, fixed cost or both. The answer is maintenance cost which include the value of services provided by fixed inputs like land, building and machines. Option A fixed cost, option B variable cost, option C total cost and the answer is fixed cost. So let us move on to the next question. Return from perennial crops start from 3 to 4 years, 1 to 2 years, 10 years. As we seen before, the answer is 3 to 4 years. Expenditure on land preparation, pit making, soil filling comes under which of the following cost? Establishment cost, maintenance cost, returns. And the answer is establishment cost. Next is somewhat short answers. So let us move on to the first question. What is establishment cost? As we seen before, establishment cost is the expenditure on land preparation, pit making, soil filling, seeding, fertilizer, planting and setting up of irrigation system. Both traditional or drip or sprinkle system are considered in estimating the establishment cost which one time in the first year. So it is the expenditure of all the field preparation done. Expenditure that is spent on all the field preparation done that are considered in estimating the establishment cost. It is one time in the first year. So let us move on to the next question. Next is what is maintenance cost? Maintenance cost is the annual maintenance cost generally includes expenditure on pruning and other intercultural operation, weeding, fertilization, irrigation, operation cost on indoor crops if any are to be considered and the costs are reoccurred in every year. Next is on what is meant by returns. Returns is something or it is a benefit or return from the perennial crops start from the third or fourth year onwards. Uh, perennial crops like mango and lime are mostly considered. In some cases, returns start from fifth year onwards, for example, in coconut. However, stabilization of the yield varies among crops. For each and every crop, the return stabilization varies. Next is on. If the fixed cost is rupees 48.50 and the variable cost is rupees 35.75, find out the total cultivation, total cost of cultivation. Here, fixed cost is given as 48.50 and variable cost is given as uh, 35.75. So, as we seen before, total cost of cultivation can be found out by some total of fixed cost and variable cost for by adding up these two uh, fixed cost and variable cost we will get the answer as 84.25 next is on how will you estimate the cost of cultivation of perennial crops or horticulture crops estimating cost of cultivation for the perennial crops or horticulture crop is different from estimation of annual crops for uh, so for perennial crops and horticulture crops Estimation of cost of cultivation is different from that of annual crops. There are three major components in cost of cultivation of estimation in perennial crops. This is, this is what we have seen before, the three main components. Next, the following points are to be considered while calculating the cost of cultivation per unit area and the cost of production for the perennial crops like mango, guava, lime and coconut. By this, I am concluding. Thank you.